Hi, I'm Ron Clark. So, next is the 231 gates of initiation plus the 32 paths of wisdom to row. Oh boy. In 1998, which I had stated already was a, uh, a very important um, period in my life, uh, one of the things I discovered when doing the uh, Eight Temples Meditation Project, um, at this point while doing the Eight Temples, um, I became very interested in what I call the Hebrew tree, which looks um, like the standard Western Hermetic tree, but has completely different attributions of letters to the paths, um, to the lettered paths. Um, it's just so significantly different. Uh, it, it makes sense, whereas the Western Hermetic tree it ultimately doesn't make any sense at all because of the attribution, the attribution of the planets to the paths in the tree is, is incorrect, basically. It has no relationship to the Hebrew attribution of letters to the various paths. Um, this is all based on Genesis in the Hebrew uh, Torah, the first book of the Torah. It gives the sequence of the letters and their attributions, essentially. Um, so, uh, it, this was a time of discovery, definitely. Uh, and like, whoa, suddenly it made so much sense to me. And I ran with it. I began exploring it in every way that I could. And for me, the exploration is not just about reading, although I did a lot of reading and studying. Uh, um, so in that process, I also came to know the Gra tree at that point. But my focus was the Hebrew tree. Uh, I had also read um, a book, uh, well, the writings of Abraham Abulafia uh, from the 14th, 13th, 14th century or something like that. Um, very old writings and his tradition of the 231 gates. And he derives that by combining the letters in the Hebrew alphabet, uh, you know, one with the other. And you make all those combinations of letters, possible combinations between the 22 letters, there's 231 combinations. And so his gates involve the utterance and meditative pronunciation of these combined letters in specific ritualized ways um, having to do with including the various vowel points. It's a very complex system and really an amazing mystical system that is very powerful. Well, I began looking at it a little differently and I discovered that there are 230 forms, different forms, based on certain requirements. Um, there are 230 forms, and then the tree taken as a whole makes 231. And I saw these as gates, and I started experimenting with them. And, you know, working them, sort of path-working them, in a sense, but very different than ordinary path-working and discovered that there are indeed 231 gates in the west i mean in the hebrew tree of life you have to include the hidden paths the connections between sephirot that are not delineated by a lettered path so 
All told, there are 231 of these gates. Um, and so I started drawing gates. Uh, you know, I, I drew all of these originally by hand. Um, yeah, it was a long, laborious process, but I didn't have the computer skills at that point to even begin to do something like this. This is a very late production. This is 2012 by the time I was capable of doing something like this. Um, so, in this book, are, uh, there's some explanatory um, section here, um, you know, telling what the gates are, how they're derived, what to do with the gates, you know, how do you explore these gates. And then I show all of the gates, give various bits of information about them, etc. And in the back is uh, something I did called the 32 Paths of Wisdom Tarot, which are the, the lettered paths and the sephirot in tarot form. Uh, let's see. There's also an article in here um, as part of the introduction that um, explains uh, where the, uh, the path associations come from in the Bible, okay? Uh, in the Torah. So, yeah, this was really a, a major work for me. It started in 1998, and it didn't end until uh, late 99, um, when I had drawn out all 231 of these gates, and then eventually converted them into digital format, and printed them out into a huge book, basically, um, of gates. Um, and that felt like mm, a work complete, you know? It was uh, a life's work in and of itself. Uh, so, that is the 231 Gates of Initiation, and it cost $37 because printing in color is way more expensive than printing in black and white. So this has color throughout, color plates. So the paperback is 30, let's see, $37, okay? And the hardback will be $41 because it's more expensive. It's my uh, most expensive book in hardback, $41. Okay, that's that. Next is a book uh, that is very close to my heart, published in 2012, written in 2012, and published. Um, well, this is uh, definitely a labor of love. It takes the gates and makes the, them out of the Gras tree. There are in the Gras tree 182 gates, not 231, but 182 gates. So the 231 gates have only to do with the Hebrew tree. The 182 gates have only to do with the Gras tree. Now, working with the Gras tree uh, totally transformed my understanding and working with the uh, Tree of Life, Kabbalah, period. Uh, it opened it to new horizons. For me now, uh, the Gras Tree is all I work with. It feels strange to work with the Hebrew Tree. Um, I, when I make uh, gate makers, sometimes I make them Hebrew Tree gate makers. Someone wants a Hebrew Tree gate maker because it's a more familiar symbol to them than the Gras tree, I find that when it comes to tuning it, I have to like, readjust and, you know, change around because all the relationships are different in the Hebrew tree from the Gras tree. The Gras tree is inclusive of Malkuth and Tiferet. Um, yes, it's just all included together here. 
so the philosophy of the grah tree is a bit different it's the philosophy of the suffer yet zero very specifically the suffer yet zero describes the grah tree yeah so here are the hundred eighty two gates of the grah tree plus a whole lot of explanatory information yeah and again it's all in color very beautifully done took so much work um, boy yeah uh, and I've translated the tree of life and same in my last book the uh, 231 gates of initiation I translated it from the Hebrew into English so um, I use the correspondences for each of the paths. It's like the planetary paths. Uh, here we have Resh, the planetary path, is the sun. And it's labeled just the sun, it's not Resh. Um, we have the zodiacal paths, like here is the path of Cancer. This is Heth, but here it's listed as Cancer. So those are the attributions instead of the Hebrew. I wanted to simplify things. I've also given the Sephirot the uh, English translation of their Hebrew names. You're not having to deal with some strange word that's difficult for you to pronounce. Okay? And it's immediate understanding this way. You know, you don't have to, in your brain, translate the Hebrew words. Um... This is uh, a life's work for me. <laughs> um, yeah. It's pure Ron. Um, so, the, uh, this book, Pure Permutations of the Tree, the 182 Gates of the Graw Tree, is $34 in paperback. And again, it's all color, so it's very expensive to print. So $34 in paperback, and it will be $36 in hardback, okay? I think I'm making, oh, $2.50 off of these books. Um, so. so, all that leaves is one more, and I'll be back with that. Bye-bye.